Life can be fast-paced, strenuous, and flat-out overwhelming. Life transitions and taboo topics can make it hard to catch your breath. Welcome to Breathe, a podcast that enables you to slow down, get your bearings, and engage in real conversations where no topic is off limits. Breathe is presented by Breath of Life, hosted by David Person and speaker director, Pastor Deblier Snell. Welcome to Breathe. I'm David Person, and it's good to be here with you today with my brothers, Pastor Deblier Snell, Speaker Director of Breath of Life, and the Senior Pastor (laughs) of the Oakwood University Church, (laughs) Pastor Kirk Nugent, who is the media pastor at Oakwood and the media guru here at Breath of Life. Amen. So today... Ooh man, this is you, it's about to get hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> this this one is this yeah. one is tough. Yeah, this one is a tough one. Loneliness, loneliness. loneliness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it seems like that is more common now mm-hmm. than ever. Mm-hmm. People feeling lonely and yeah. isolated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of that I think was exacerbated by COVID, but then yeah. some oh, of yeah. that I think was even before COVID. Before that, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, um, in talking about loneliness, what do you think we need to be thinking about first, Pastor Snow? Yeah, I mean, so I do think that um, it's, it's 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 interesting. Like, I the scripture just makes so much sense. Mm. Like, you know, God created the world, animals, and each one has a partner. Mm-hmm. And and one of the kind of the first things God kind of notes as He observes this newly perfect Adam, mm. He says, "Man, it is not." Good. good for him to be alone. Mercy. I got to make somebody suitable for him. Now, again, is even as we have this conversation, we're not just talking about marriage. marriage. That's mm-hmm. not this conversation. Mm-hmm. But I just think that there is a, a fundamental truth that at the end of the day, we suffer mm. in some way, shape, or form mm. when we live lives in isolation, yeah. separated, um, or just alienated or strange from healthy community right so for some it may be a marriage for others it may be friendships yeah. whatever it is yeah but when you lack healthy community at the end of the day like you're you're suffering in some way shape or form now when i say suffering does it mean you can't get out of bed you can't function you can't go to work work mm-hmm. you can't drive a car that's not what i'm talking about mm-hmm. but there is a there's a deficit at work and i do think that there is a um uh, there's a spiritual statement that you oftentimes hear that we should probably bury and put the word rest. And it says something along those lines, well, you know, I don't need nothing but the Lord, you know, Mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But but that's actually not necessarily the case because like God, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, Adam had God all to himself. Yeah. And God said, you know what? I got to put a community around him. Wait a minute. Yeah. Come on. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. He had God all to himself. Yeah. All to himself. I mean, face to face. Yeah. Yeah. Engagement, Hmm. contact. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no yeah. chasm because yeah. of sin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he says, you know, There's this a is not good for him. Kind of, mm-hmm. yeah, even though God obviously yeah. is the the quintessential companion, yeah. you would think, mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. the same time, God is like, well, yeah. but you probably need somebody that's more like you. Like you, yep, very much. And that's very a much. good thought. In, mm-hmm. and, and in addition, God recognized that in the Trinity, he has community. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yep, he talking. is essentially saying to Adam, I want you to experience what I have all the time. Okay, mm-hmm. now. Yeah, come okay, on now. All okay. the we, time. We're getting heavy in here today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah. No, so, so the, because, yeah, the, you got yeah. the Godhead. Yeah. yeah. And, and they function as one being, but three pieces. Yeah. And so... That's you, why all the language of Genesis there. is community. It's like let us, let us make man. That's in right. Our image. That's it. Very That's much. it. That's mm-hmm. it. So yeah, no, he he was giving Adam a a window, a a a, a yeah, a, a, the experience of what he was already, what what God the God had already experienced as well. So mm-hmm. no, I I, I believe that um, these are the these are the aspects and the components that God wants us to experience as people. Mm-hmm. Because in community, in addition to that, because when you're just by yourself, mm-hmm. there's certain things that you may just not, you know, yeah. you, just, you may not even ever figure out that, oh, I'm, I'm actually kind of selfish. Right. Or ah, I don't yeah. really, I, I didn't realize that I do these types of, I didn't, yep. I'm not considerate. I'm yep. not, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I just kind of want things my way. 
you don't necessarily realize those things until no. you are in not just community, but mm-hmm. close community. Close community, yeah. With somebody else. And I don't mean living with somebody. I don't want to be talking about yep. a romantic relationship mm-hmm. either. I'm talking about allowing people in. Yep. Mm-hmm. Allowing people now, in. Are, yeah. we, are we saying, though, uh, I'm going to make sure I'm clear on this. Are we saying that loneliness and being alone are synonymous? I, mm, no. Because I, I don't think, think so loneliness either. is exclusive to, to relationship alone. status. No, no, no. I, to being alone. Or even like, to, yeah, or yeah, even just being yeah, by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Cuz I think there are people mm-hmm. who who live in a house with other people. Right. And right. they and feel lonely. alone. Okay. Yeah. There are people that probably have tens of thousands of followers on social media. There it is. Right. And That's they still really struggle with loneliness. Yes. Right. I think there are people that may have acclaim and the respect of peers mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. of that sort and they still struggle with Loneliness, mm-hmm. and so I think loneliness is not, uh, or is not because of the lack of external company. I think it's because you know at some point, even yeah. the external, yeah, persons, mm-hmm. there is a lack of intimacy yeah. that still creates a deficit inside. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, I think in some ways that's probably a more frustrating form of loneliness because I got all these people, people around, around me, me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and in my house and, and following me on social media or that I work with and yet I feel still feel like I'm unseen mm. and I still feel like nobody notices or nobody cares mm. and I think that's one of the ways loneliness shows up. So we, it sounds like we're really saying that loneliness is when you don't have intimacy with mm-hmm. somebody else. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's lack, lack of intimate or meaningful connection. Right. Yeah. You know, because I think right. there are a lot of people that just have meaningless social, social connections. connections. Right. Like we get together and we bond over sports. sports yeah. Or, yeah. you know, yeah. you get pedicures or, yeah. you know, whatever it, you shop together yeah. or you play ball. Yeah. But, it, you know, it, it kind of fills the time. Mm-hmm. But there there is no heart nurture. Mm-hmm. There is no soul feeling as a result of that encounter with another human being. So I also think about this, uh, especially as I get older, you see your circle shrink. Yeah, you know, it does. People die, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and uh, and it is possible for and and I think in fact many older people do live alone. Mm-hmm. Now that's true. That's true. Is it is it automatic that they are lonely in the sense in which we're talking about? Well, I think it just depends. Like, do they have healthy community? And mm-hmm. that's, I think that's the term I want to just use is mm-hmm. where, where, whether it's with children. Yeah. A that's per- church, yeah. church fellowship. fellowship yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, a water aerobics class. Mm-hmm. You know, like, do you yeah. have friendships, you know, people right. or, or peers? Right. So I just that's, think that at the end of the day, living alone, you know, I think it can certainly exacerbate loneliness. Mm-hmm. It can certainly compound it in some yeah. ways. But even if you're a single person that lives alone, as long as you have a healthy community mm. where you can have engagement, whether it's just with true mm. ride or die friends, right, or whether it's right. just like, man, I'm a part of a loving church fellowship that allows me to feel seen, yeah, or you know, what I'm saying, I when I gather with my family or children or yeah. siblings on yeah. the weekend, yeah, like I just think at the end of the day, everybody needs a healthy community. I think everybody needs a cheering section. Mm-hmm. You know, I think everybody needs kind of a a source where you can draw some encouragement, encouragement. Mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. affirmation. Come on. Mm-hmm. I think everybody needs those things. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I don't think you should be like completely dependent, defined and fueled by those things, but I think those are hum- those are felt needs that right. don't go away. Yeah. Right. There's right. there's a there's a comp- so there's a comp- some I've got some aunts who never got married um uh, and the two of them actually decided to live with one another but they they raised at least four or five kids mm-hmm. i'm talking about in the home yeah, yeah brought them in and and took care of them as if they birthed them themselves mm-hmm. right, right um they poured themselves into certain types of relationships and activities such that uh, and maybe they did have their bouts of loneliness, but to me, it seemed like they've lived a fulfilled life. Mm-hmm. And so I, I also look at loneliness as uh, how how have you put a barrier? Because you could have all the relationships. There you go. You can have all the people around you and people cheering for you. Mm-hmm. But you still feel like I'm by myself. Yeah. Because you have maybe, maybe in some instances, put up this barrier, this wall, and you haven't allowed people in 
to be able to really see you for who you are. Like, how do you really develop a ride or die? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to go through something together. Mm -hmm. You have to have, if it's not just a longevity of history, there is this rich tapestry of experiences that you have with somebody. And sometimes those experiences can be up and down, yeah. up and down. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so they're not always good. It's like, man, I remember we got into this argument and you remember how we overcame. Mm -hmm. and, and it's those kinds of things yeah. that allow you to, to really allow somebody to be seen, somebody who knew you before you are who you are today, mm -hmm. before you learned some things, before right. you've gone through some lessons, before mm -hmm. you've been refined a bit. Very much. Like, man, I'm, this guy knew me from when I used to cut people off for no good reason. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So... <laughs> But 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 do you have anybody like that that's right, been able to right. see you kind of make your way through life and grow and mature and improve? Those are I think those are the relationships that really, you know, when you know somebody's like, man, that person no know knows me. Like, yeah, you know, they got no reason to be my friend. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you, the yeah. older I get, the more I value those long talk term about long -term relationships. Talk I mean, about it. There's something yeah. special about talk about it. Looking across the table from somebody. Who's known you since kindergarten, Come first on. grade? Yeah, Come on. and you know whatever ups and downs you may have had in in, the, in your relationship with that person, or whatever ups and downs you've had in life. Yeah, you're looking at each other. You see each other in a yeah. different way. Different way. Yeah. It's yeah. like that. you see each other as survivors, yeah. right? Yeah, and overcomers. Yeah, and, yeah. And and you and you realize not only did we survive life, but our bond yeah, survived, survived life. life. Yeah, there's yeah. something powerful about that it is uh, and that's why i think that you know when you do have a meaningful friendship or two especially as you it's funny there's studies that actually talk about how <laughs> how older people when, when i say aging people like the older you get the more fragile friendships actually become mm. like i mean so i think there is just the the death component of it mm -hmm. but you know then you know you you move to different parts of the country, the country yeah. and you, you, you live out your life and kids and, you know, so on and so forth. But I just think, man, you know, sometimes when we get older, we can be a little bit more prideful, mm. uh, sensitive mm. to slights and things mm. that are perceived slights. Mercy. And just, you know, you know, and as you become more comfortable in your own skin, you, you begin to treat people as a little bit more optional. Mm. And, and we do that actually, you know, really to that our own so demise. Yeah. And so I do think that, you know, when you got, you know, you – Nobody probably has 50 ride or die, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> deep relationships. But it's probably going to be a handful yeah. of people that God has kind of assigned. You know, I think some people are for seasons, and I think there are very, very few that are for life. Yeah, for life and yeah. I think those for life things, you got to you gotta treasure it like gold. You got to put time into it. Mm. You got to invest in it. And you got to put a barricade around it to yeah. make sure that it yeah. thrives yeah. And, yeah. and and it, it goes forward. Because it, it won't stay that way by accident. No. It will only stay that way if you're on purpose. Right. Yeah. If you if you grow it, if you groom it, if you water it, if you mm -hmm. cultivate it, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you got to be intentional about that. That's so you don't have to word it friendships as a child. Because no. you, you stuck you together, just, you got to yeah. go to school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to, yeah, 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 yeah. you, you got to go to school. You got to yeah. be, you know, it's only yeah. 25 kids. You're going yeah. to go to the playground. Yeah. Right. But adult friendships, you have to water them. Yeah. And there, you have to provide sunshine. I'll tell you what, there there are some uh, two, uh, two maybe, yeah, no, not, let, me not even, let me not even play myself. There's two ladies in my wife's life that I have personally watered those mm -hmm. relationships mm -hmm. because I I know that they yeah. pour back into her. Mm -hmm. And I, I I just believe that, you know, That's as a, good word as right a husband, yeah. oh, my word, you can't be all the things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, just can't. You can't. just yeah. can't. You just can't. And yeah. so. Nor should you really want to, no, want you, to be. Oh, that's yeah. even you better. Know? And that's the reason better. I think that's powerful is because when you don't have a balance of relationships, mm -hmm. you put an inordinate amount of pressure on yeah. one or the other. Mm -hmm. And you put a pressure or strain yeah. because you're trying to make this one husband or spouse Mercy. or friend yeah, yeah. fulfilled needs fulfilled. that they that's literally right. cannot provide. And so I think that's really critical. And this is why I feel like the loneliness conversation doesn't, it's outside of relation, you know, yeah. romantic relationships mm -hmm. because I feel like even as a, a married couple, you can be lonely. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there's not necessarily something wrong with your marriage, but you're lonely because you haven't made those investments. You haven't watered those relationships and friendships either. But even mm -hmm. when we talk about like what – what does loneliness feel like? Mm -hmm. So even when you're in a crowded room, it's when I constantly feel misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Like I am speaking a language that nobody else speaks. speaks. Mm -hmm. Like that adds Mercy. to loneliness. Mercy. Um, rejection. 
Like I put myself out there. Yeah. Uh, I make myself vulnerable, mm. and I am not. I am rejected. Like that fuels, or it it exacerbates it. Yeah. Or just when you when you talk about those the length of, the the length of those relationships, yeah. you know one of the things that makes it beautiful is they just accept you. Yeah. Yep. Like they, you know they're not trying to Real change. Talk. Like oh, they just that's they, it. There's just something about yeah. Whether it's in marriage or friendship, people that just accept you that's, yeah, as that's, you are. That's him. You know what I'm saying? That's they, her. Yep. You know your your temperaments. They complement each other in such a way where they <laughs> stuff that other folk can't live with. Yeah, yeah. they can live, they can with, live it, with. They can rock yeah. with yeah. it, and, yeah. and they can enthusiastically. That's my guy. Yeah, you know, that's share, my girl. Share space yeah. with you. Yeah. So like, even if you're around a lot of people, you just feel misunderstood, mm-hmm. unheard, unseen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or just kind of feel like rejected. Rejected is I the term I was looking for. You yeah. know, yeah. those are things that just kind of add to the loneliness complex that mm-hmm. all of us have to wrestle wrestle mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. I also think when you have these uh, these long term, almost lifetime friendships, you get to a point where you stop having unrealistic expectations about uh, that other person. Come right? on, now. Yeah. so you if you, yeah. you get to a point where you, you feel accepted as you are and where you accept as they are, mm-hmm. you know. So you look across the table like, all right, yeah, that's Dave. Yeah, there again. you go. Yeah, but that's what he does. <laughs> that's what he does. Yeah, and, yeah. and I accept, I accept that, that. You yeah. know, and it doesn't mm-hmm. change. My relationship with Dave, mm-hmm. just because I know yeah, this that, is his propensity. That's so the word right there. Yeah. yeah. So some people, you just, you just need to modify expectations. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you just need to modify. Stop that's imposing right. Right. expectations. Right. You just gotta accept you going too far. Really that's really that's a good word, and yeah. and then you put boundaries in place for yeah, that. This is true. You know, you put those boundaries, yeah. but, but that longevity allows you to know how to navigate, mm-hmm. how to navigate certain pieces. But the longevity also allows you to know what refills. Yeah. You know what yeah. what is it? You know, because every relationship, uh, you can't give the same nourishment, the yeah. same feeding, the same mm-hmm. watering. You know, for this relationship, it may be, oh, we just need to, we just need to go out. For this other relationship, I just need a phone call or two. Yeah. Uh, for this That's relationship, you know, yeah. you you got to know what yeah. that what will replenish and refill yeah. mm. that relationship. Because everybody's and, different. Yeah. Everybody's and and I tell you what, there's a good uh, one of my dad's friends told me this. He's like, there are there is a couple of folks that I can only talk to on the phone. Mm-hmm. I cannot take them in person. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. But when we talk on the phone, we yeah. are golden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I just I, thought, yeah. wow, it's funny because I'm like that. So oh, I'm not a on the phone person. So mm-hmm. like, if you're yeah. if you're gonna type a paragraph to me. Okay. Just, I'm the wrong person to do that too. Don't. I'm not gonna put deep, thoughtful responses <laughs> in text to you. You know what I'm saying? But like when we're in front of each other, yeah. that's where I yeah, I, kinda, I invest. Yeah. I engage. But like these, these, yeah, I, you know, on a certain day, if I'm just in a mood, yeah. you know, I can have a lengthy conversation sure. on the phone. But in person, yeah. that's where I, I, I got you. Thrive a little bit more. But this, yeah. that that allows people to know Stop how to stop sending the past. Yeah, yeah, the long text. <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, to that's Stop what I'm trying to say. Because yeah. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I start rolling my eyes. Oh, bro. oh, bro. No, when you sh- when you've got to scroll yeah. twice, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a problem. Yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. That's, that's not the purpose of text messages. No, that's They're right. supposed to be short, yeah. short and brief. That's yeah. right. It's supposed to be short. So, final question. <laughs> that's good, for y'all. All of the believers. That's good, y'all. Who are watching this podcast? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Who struggle with loneliness? Yeah. What's our advice to them? Yeah. So I, I think the one thing I, I would probably say is um, I think you, you know, well, for those who do this, yeah, is I just think you have to stop fronting with it. Mm-hmm. I just think you got to stop mm-hmm. perpetrating like I'm straight, I'm strong, I don't need anyone. Mm-hmm. I just think you have to you have to come before God expressing that need mm-hmm. and saying, Lord, I'm just for whatever reason, mm-hmm. I just feel lonely. There is a mm-hmm. deficit. There is a mm-hmm. there's a lack because I think that like when you when you when you're fronting with it. You, I just don't think you can ever yeah, yeah. become who you need to be when you're still pretending to be something you're not. Mm, mm, and, that's yeah. true. And I just yeah. think the artifice yeah. is really yeah. a derailing practice. Mm, so mm. I just think that it's okay to kind of acknowledge that, man, right now in this season, I'm just feeling yeah. isolated, yeah. alone, lonely. Mm. Um, and I think you have to make it a matter, you know, a prayer before the Lord. Mm. Like say this is a need and just – you know, put it before God. I do think that um, there's a funny Bible Bible, Bible verse because this is what happens. All right, when we've suffered rejection, mm-hmm. we've not been accepted. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people you know maybe didn't receive the offering we put out last time. Is we put up these walls um, and kind of walls 
in some ways they will protect you and they'll keep people out. But the problem is That's the they truth. keep people out. Yeah. That's it. And so the Bible talks about he who has friends must show himself friendly. Friendly. Mm-hmm. That doesn't just mean being cordial, saying hi. It That's means I, there's a vulnerability. Yes. I don't have an yes. icy veneer. So like there are certain people, man, their whole energy says, don't talk to me. Don't yeah. touch. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me. Mm-hmm. And then they, they'll turn around and say, "Anybody oh, in church friendly?" <laughs> I'm just gonna like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Your energy says, right. Like right. I don't want to be bothered. Right. And honestly, you know, there are very few people that right. there are some, but that's not the masses that are gonna push past that mm-hmm. and say, "I wonder what what's there is there," yeah. and, mm-hmm. and see the value. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't make yourself unattainable and then wonder why. Yeah. You know, people are not yeah. pursuing kind of relationship or, or friendship there. And then I just think, um, number three, I would just say, you know, just I wouldn't say just kind of wait for relationships to come knock on your door. Engage in life. Engage in life. Engage in life. And I think that as you engage, you know, you will find people, whether it is in a church context where yeah. there's fellowship or in a service context or in a work context yeah. or if you draw like, you know. Yeah. Whatever your interests That's are. That's what I was going to really say. Yeah. Engage. Mm-hmm. Engage. And you find points of interest with people who share um, similar interests, preferences, gifts. Yeah. And I think you can build community around them. And and not all of them is going to have the same level of depth. No. You know, not all is going to have the same level of intimacy. Yeah. But I just, as opposed to just sitting and waiting for it to come, engage in life yeah. and you'll see how the Lord will arrange your steps and your relationships. Yeah. yeah. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good word. Yeah. Good place to end. Absolutely. Thank you, Pastor Snell, Pastor Nugent. Another great conversation. Mm -hmm. And uh, stop sending the pastor long Long (laughs) texts. Yeah, just two or three lines. I don't feel like scrolling. (laughs) Nobody does. Two or three. Get the point. You know who you are. (laughs) You know who you are. (laughs) Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All kidding aside. <laughs> All kidding aside. No, maybe not. Yeah. Not so serious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, uh, these brothers are here every week because they believe in this ministry. Absolutely. They believe in this message, mm-hmm. and they care about you. And when you're struggling with loneliness, you can reach out. Yeah. Maybe not with a long text, but mm-hmm. you can reach, reach out. out. There we go. <laughs> and you can also stop. Stop. Mm-hmm. Pray. That's right. And breathe. Breathe is produced by David Person for Breath of Life. Executive producer is Deblier Snell. And sound engineer is Kirk Nugent. Audio episodes of Breathe can be found on Apple, Spotify, or Google Podcast platforms. For video episodes and extra content, check out the Breath of Life YouTube channel. Breath of Life is faith-based content, resources, and programs from a contemporary urban perspective for those looking for hope and guidance. We believe that every breath we take is a testimony that God is consistent, that He loves us, and has a plan for our lives.